Hi, in this video, we'll talk about the promoter elements. So RNA polymerase promoters are specialized DNA sequence which are located near the transcription start site and whose sole goal is to serve as a platform such that the transcription machinery can assemble on there and transcription can begin. So here is a fragment of a DNA where you can see the area marked in green is the promoter element. The promoter element is a specialized sequence about its sequence feature we would look later but right now this promoter element is a platform where the transcriptional initiation machinery the general transcription factors and the RNA polymerase would bind and as a result transcription would start. So promoter elements as we discussed could be upstream to the transcription start site or it could be downstream to the transcription start site and there are both the evidences. One of the most common promoter element is located 24 to my 24 to 30 base pair upstream. The minus sign indicates which is upstream from the transcription start site and this, promote, this promoter element is known as Tata box. Just few base upstream to Tata box there is another element known as Bru element. So this is another promoter element which is present in the upstream. Now we look at at the Tata box the TF2D which has the Tata box binding protein which is a general transcription factor binds and allows the whole transcription initiation machinery to be associated near the promoter and near the transcription start site. Now the transcription can start. We can also talk about a little bit about the downstream promoter elements such as DPE which are mostly present in positive 28 to 34 nucleotides which is downstream towards from the transcription start site. Now how to understand that a promoter is strong or weak? We know that this, if this is a promoter region and this is a gene body region our transcription machinery would be assembled in the promoter region and near the transcription start site, right? So, we can have a in vivo or in vitro reporter assay. So what is a reporter assay? Let's say you amplify the sequence of the promoter and you know the transcription machinery assembles with that. Then, you put a reporter element which you can detect for example in this particular case we have put a gfp transgene underneath this promoter and if the promoter is getting activated so gfp would be transcribed and translated and as a result we can detect the fluorescence the fluorescence level will tell us that the promoter is active or not active now let's say there are two promoters promoter a and promoter b Promoter A gives rise to quite a lot of GFP mRNA and produce a lot of GFP. Whereas promoter B gives rise to less amount of mRNA and gives rise to less amount of GFP protein as well. So both the fluorescence signal could be detected using specific fluorescence detector. And that would tell us, the fluorescence intensity would tell us, the fluorescence, how much strong one promoter is or how efficient the promoter is in terms of transcription and this is called in vivo, in vivo or in vitro reporter assays. Now there is a problem that what we talked about so far. Inside a cell the promoter is not only a single strand of DNA. This specific sequence is actually wrapped around the histones forming nucleosomes and you have to understand a gene is also in format of a nucleosome. So just upstream to the start site, the RNA polymers need to bind and need to move all across the gene body. So thinking about the chromatin conformation is also important to understand the promoters. So the promoter elements could be classified on basis of several parameters such as initiation pattern, sequence composition motifs, chromosome configuration, and gene functions. And based on these classifications, so what we can see, the, chromo chrom the 
promoter elements could be differentiated as promoters of adult and differentiated tissues such as the promoters which are found in neurons, skin cells or a fibroblast. There are promoters of housekeeping gene. That means the promoters which are found in the housekeeping gene such as actin. Also, there are promoters of developmentally related transcription factors such as SOX2 promoter which really are important for stem cell maturation or stem or maintaining the stem cell state. We would learn about all these and what are the features of these promoters in a bit. So the tissues which are adult or terminally differentiating their promoters has regularly or scattered place nucleosomes whereas the housekeeping and the developmental gene promoters have mostly regularly spaced nucleosomes. So in terms of nucleosome their organization is very different. Now let's talk about the transcription start site. The transcription start sequence site or the frequency of the transcription start events are very sharp in case of a terminally differentiated gene promoter. Whereas it is more broad in terms of housekeeping gene promoters and relatively sharper than the housekeeping in case of the developmentally important genes. Now in terms of activatory and inhibitory marks, mostly the terminally differentiated gene promoters and the housekeeping gene promoter has activatory mark whereas the developmentally related gene promoters which are important for stem cell maintenance and etc they have both the type of marks activatory as well as inhibitory and they are staying in a poised state such that they could be either differentiated anytime or they could undergo a self-renewal process as at the same time so till now we can understand that information about the promoter and how the promoter is oriented in a three-dimensional space what type of histone is associated with that promoter sequence means a lot for in terms of gene regulation and cells performance right but not only the sequence itself or what is binding to the sequence there are other sequence nearby to the promoter such as enhancer sequence which can influence the promoter's activity a promoter might be very weak, but if an enhancer is nearby, it would enhance the transcriptional activity from the promoter itself. Or some of the cases, there are repressor elements which would repress the transcription from that promoter. So it all is influenced by several cis-regulatory elements. Want to know more about cis and trans-regulatory element? A new video would be coming. So stay tuned. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.